everybody. Um, this is Tiffany, TLS Lifestyle on all the interwebs. And I am coming to you from my car. Hello. Um, how are you? How are you doing? How's your day going? Are you in tra rush hour traffic? I'm not actually, which is very good because I kind of thought that I would be, but I'm not. So, yeah. Um, or at least knock on something. I'm not yet. Um, I wanted to do just like hopefully a very quick video. Um, talking about how I kind of manage my time. Um, because most of us, of course, have some type of day job, have some type of side hustle, have some type of something that we're doing. And we're getting ready to go into Preptober as well as, you know, Nano and arguably, yeah, see, shouldn't have said anything. Look at there. I'm seeing red lights, y'all. I'm just seeing a whole bunch of red lights. Um, oh, nope. Looks like they were just getting off. Yay. Okay. Um, but we're about to go into what arguably for some of us might be a really busy season. Um, whether it's you're working at another job or whether it's because you're adding in, you know, Preptober and National Already Month or it is just because, you know, life gets stupid. That happens. Um, oh my gosh, they're doing so much good stuff. I don't mean to be random on this video, y'all. I really don't. But I haven't been down here in quite in like a little touch of a minute. Um, and there's just, or this direction, there's just so much traffic now. I mean, it's so much construction. Good gracious. But uh, if you don't know, I am a photographer during my non writing hours, if you will. Um, and then I also do some ghostwriting. So those are two additional streams of income that I have that are different than um, just my writing. Uh, that I do for myself. So, like, there is a number of times where, like today, I was supposed to be on a live stream, and then I got booked last minute to go do an event for um, this corporation here in my town. And so, like, I kind of want to talk about how I manage these types of conversations because, and I'm sorry if the lighting goes in and out, I'm, again, in the car, therefore, I'm under a tunnel, um, but, so, and it's, it's not quite evening hours, but it is, you know, getting a little bit later. Okay, guys, we had to take a quick break. Um, fun fact, GPS would not work with, um, uh, with me recording a video, so, okay, sera, sera. Uh, but I am still in my car. It's getting a little warm, so this is definitely going to be a quick video. Um, but, uh, I had to make it to the location, which I did. It looks really pretty. Um, just FYI. I mean, it's a brewery, you know, it looks like a brewery, but considering what's around it. <laughs> but what I was saying is, okay, so... Case in point of time management, I was supposed to be on a live stream, as you guys know. Uh, normally, I am on Des's live stream on Mondays, but I had someone hire me to do this kind of last minute. Okay, no, it's for real though. It's probably not. Hold on. Okay, had to get a lawyer in here because um, I was going to pass out on you guys. Um... But I had somebody hire me last minute to do this. And that is sometimes the nature of my photography business is that I will have, because I've worked with different um, people, different corporations, sometimes they have uh, events that come up and like you would think that they, I mean, they hire everybody else, they hire a caterer in advance, but <laughs> unfortunately sometimes they don't think, oh yeah, let's have pictures until like a week or two out from it. Um, which is 
sometimes frustrating <laughs> if we're going to be honest in all fairness this is a new client so they didn't know me until two days ago when they hired me um and it just so happened i was at a different event and this person was like oh you know this would be really great uh you did such a great job can you come do this and so you know i can't be like oh well he should have hired me like you know three weeks ago and let me know in advance uh because again didn't know me until two days ago so but you know writing is like a lot of times we write simply or some of us I'm not gonna say all uh but some of us write because we're we're in a mood or we feel like it or something's going on um we have a deadline that's going on we have national novel writing month we have um whatever situation is happening um we have extra time we have you know like different moments things like that uh i try to look at it differently because if i looked at it that way i'm not positive i would get any writing done and i mean for my ghostwriting obviously I have a deadline you know I have like certain amounts of words that need to be turned in I have like a certain story that needs to be turned in at a certain given point in time um but I'm kind of nervous people are gonna start looking at me in the camera in the car and be like what is she doing um <laughs> we're gonna keep that quiet because more people are starting to arrive uh but sometimes I think we need to look at it as like we schedule a lot of other things in our world. Let's schedule this as well. So what I've done, hopefully this week, that's really gonna work. And what I try to what I'm trying as a new type of of deal is that I'm scheduling writing dates. So that you know, because I know I'm gonna take these pictures tonight. I need to edit them, I need to, you know, go through them, I need to get them up, I need to get them back to the client um, within a certain period of time. So the way I've scheduled my week or structured my week is that today I'm doing the pictures, um, tomorrow I am doing the pictures, Wednesday I am writing. So Wednesday is my writing day, like, and the goal is to just write write on Wednesday um and I have plans to like I've got my playlist I've got you know my mood board I've got all my different things that hopefully should help me kind of get in that headspace of writing and it's funny because now that I'm, I'm thinking okay Wednesday is my writing day like I'm actually more focused it feels like over the last couple of days like I've been you know because I know it's coming up so it's like I'm like ooh, what's the scene I'm gonna work on okay so I'm gonna work on that like I don't know if I really know where that's going but it's like different ideas are popping in my head and so and not so much in the sense of like if something popped in my head where it was like I basically could sit down and write the whole scene I would sit down and write the whole scene um but like different things are popping in my head like Ooh, well, what about this for this character? What about this for this character? Maybe I can move this around. Oh, did I think about this? Did I plan out that? How about this? Um, and so then that gives me a little bit more leeway. Does that make sense? And it gives me kind of a, a little bit more kind of an idea of what it is that I'm kind of looking forward to writing. Uh, and then... Thursday is kind of an open-ended day. If I'm in a zone and I really want to write, I can write. If I get, uh, if I don't get the pictures done in time, I can work on the pictures and finish them off because I actually have two events of pictures that I need to get done. Um, and so then I can work on that. And then Friday is going to be another writing day. So, um, and I've done this before. Granted, I've done it because I was on a deadline and I needed to turn something in right away uh, as opposed to scheduling it to do it. And so I think that when we have extra time, you know, or when we're getting into these seasons where it's National Novel Writing Month, October, um, it's a busy time at work, it's because I'm getting in my holiday season. 
it's a crapshoot realistically um every year of how many sessions I might do for you know like Christmas pictures or Christmas events or um <laughs> engagement sessions because people pop the question you know Christmas New Year's um sometimes people get married I shot a, a New Year's wedding um one year so um which is so funny because like this year I just shot that person's sister's wedding so um things happen um but um you know like I try to is that music no okay didn't want to get copyright um, um so I was like uh oh we're gonna have to roll up the window if it's music um but like this can be I talk with my hands I know I'm normally on live stream but you guys don't get to see my hands uh, but um, the great thing is that if we sit down and we really think about it and structure it and not in the sense of you know like writing is a creative medium right like it's um, it's a passion it's something that kind of flows and it's part of you and, and you know for some people not everybody again don't want to generalize um, but it's hard to think about structuring that, right? Because you're like, oh, I'm in the mood to write. Or, oh, I'm really in the flow of writing or whatever. If you're in the flow, flow. <laughs> you know, like do what you do. Get it down. Get it on paper. Write to your little heart's content. Um, but if you're someone who, who's struggling to figure out when you can write, how you can write, um, if you have time to write, those type of things, you know, look at your weeks look at your month and sit down and just really kind of think about where you may have a little bit of time a little bit of spare time a little moment here or there um you know where you can structure something in and maybe it's not a whole day maybe you know it's like two hours in the morning or um like 45 minutes during lunch something like that uh just look at where it is that you have those moments and speaking of lunch that is something that I've been thinking about possibly doing is doing just straight I'm trying to not talk when there's cars going back um kind of phase in and out um straight productivity uh live streams during lunch um, like during a lunch hour, maybe like a, a 12 to one thirty or something like that, or 1130 to one thirty type of thing where it is just like a 30 minute, like 30 minute sprint on, you know, five, 10 minute break, 30 minute sprint on five to 10 minute break, 30 minute sprint on five to 10 minute break, um, be done. So let me know if that's something that you guys would be interested in. You can drop it in the comments below. Um, you know, that way you can come in and out if you have some time in your day, uh, like during a lunch break or just a break break, if that would help, especially going into nano. I know that that can be a frazzling time of when to write, how to write, you know, so many things. So let me know if that's something that you're interested in. Um, and then also, I want to end this by saying that I know I'm very fortunate that you know, my photography business is for myself. My freelance business of writing, even though I am writing for someone, it is basically for myself. I'm very fortunate in the sense of I don't have a boss giving me a deadline, realistically. I don't have a boss asking me where this is. I'm sorry, somebody was walking really close to my car. Um... <laughs> I don't think he's going to the event, y'all. I mean, seriously, he y'all might have saw him. He was like right in my in my car. Um, I don't have you know someone like coming up to me, you know, handing me new assignments. I don't have someone. Um, oh, her outfit is cute. Sorry again. <laughs> I am that person who's like squirrel. Oh, <laughs> but it is y'all. I would show it to you, but. You know, I don't know if she want to be on the internet. No. Um, but, you know, I'm very fortunate that I don't have 
like uh, a specific place that I have to go. I don't have a boss walking up, putting something on my desk, like, hey, you know what? We need this by the end of the day, or um, we need this like at the end of the week or something like that. I, I am very much well aware. And while I do have people, like this is a corporate event, um, when I'm doing pictures for like a wedding, I get a lot more time to edit them. If I'm doing pictures for um, like, okay, loud. Um, <laughs> oh, you can't park there, boo. I'm sorry. <laughs> but this person is like straight up getting ready to like park where the tail end of their car is like hanging into a driveway. You can't do that. That's illegal. <laughs> Okay, I'm worried about where I park just because there's a sign up that says first Thursday of the month. Y'all, it's not even Thursday, let alone the first of anybody's month. That's the end of the month. Um, but, oh, and there's the, y'all, and there's yellow on the curb. They about to mess up. Ooh, and they close. Ooh, she's so close to this other car in front of her. Okay, let's get done, because I got to go in um, here in a moment. <gasps> Turn that car off and everything. I hope she gets out and realizes that, like, her tail end of the car is really not where it's supposed to be. Especially because she could have parked in front of the car that she's trying to park behind. Like, there's plenty of room in front of the car. She really could have parked there. Um, to each their own. Uh... But what I was saying is, like, when I do weddings, I have, you know, like, three, four weeks to edit the pictures, generally, because, you know, between honeymoons and and time frames and different ways that I've set up my business, I just have that extra time. Um, if I'm doing uh, portrait sessions or something like that, again, I have, like, about a two-week turnaround, you know, maybe a little bit longer, a little bit less, um, but when I do uh oh that's so nice the lady with the cute outfit she noticed that this person's like tail was completely hanging out she came back and asked and knocked on their window and asked did, did they want her to pull up so that they would have plenty of time so she's pulling up so this old lady don't get a ticket y'all <laughs> Yeah, and she's still riding her tail. Good lord. Um, but, like, with a corporate event, a lot of times, like, the, uh, the turnaround time is so much faster. Like, in order to get these pictures back to them, I realistically have to work on them tomorrow. Because, generally, they want their pictures, like, within the week if not like a day or two afterwards um, because they want to share them with their their sponsors. They want to share them with, um, you know, people who, uh, you know, like if it's a fundraiser who gave money, um, people who, um, if it's an award, something who won an award because they might want to share it on social media somewhere. So it's definitely a fast turnaround. Like I probably, I'm very fortunate this event actually doesn't go too too late like the one I did Saturday was till almost midnight um so I was not coming home and downloading pictures and trying to go through them um this one ends at like 8 30 9 o'clock so I could realistically go home download the pictures and start kind of sorting through them and then just really go through and edit everything that I need to do tomorrow um so that's a good turnaround time uh, for this. So I'm well aware what I'm saying is that I'm fortunate enough that I can make my own schedule. I can sit down and figure out what, you know, will work for me in a week, how I can structure and uh, barring any kind of crazy something like hiring last minute or getting sick or something like that or getting a migraine. Um, which recently has been the thing that has taken me out of my schedule quite often. Um, I'm good. So if you do have somebody 
who is your boss who's sitting there giving you the deadlines who's you know micromanaging who's telling you when something needs to be turned in or when they need something on their desk or asking you to work late or whatever you know if you have kids who like I used to be a nanny I understand they take up so much time That was great. Um, they take up so much time. Um, so I get that. Um, just look at where you might be able to find your time. Um, because it's, it's there, you know? And I think if we look at things as not so much waiting for inspiration to strike or passion to strike or, you know, to be able to sit down and write this, you know, opus novel in one setting, which I hope none of us are trying to do in one setting. Um, but like thinking, oh my gosh, we have to have this, you know, like abundance of time in order to write. I mean, yes, that's beautiful and that's ideal. And like I said, I'm trying to take a whole day and write. Um, but it's also because I have some other personal deadlines that I'm setting for myself, which is why I'm doing this. Um, like, I think it would make it a little bit easier on us to find those spaces and find that time and, you know, get everything done. So that's kind of my idea of, you know, like letting you know where I'm, what I'm coming from, where I'm thinking, what's popping in this head of mine. Um, <laughs> You know, just kind of a little drive time chat that started off drive time and ended up part time. Um, ah, part time chat. Hey, we may have to work that out. Um, so I am going to go inside because I can't see what time it is. A watch didn't really go with that out with this outfit. Bonus points if you know what movie that comes from. Um, and because I, but I am, I'm supposed to be there by a specific time. Um, a little nervous because the sun that was blinding me 10 minutes ago looks like it is trying to hide um and I really would like a lot of light uh for what it is I'm doing this is a half outdoor half indoor event don't really know um where that's coming from or how that's working out um, but we will see uh and uh, it looks like more people are here. When I first got here, there wasn't a lot of people here. So I was really glad that I wasn't, we contracted out that I wasn't here first thing because there really wasn't a lot of people now. It looks like there's a good section of people. So much easier when there's a bunch of people. Because I don't, I don't find myself looking at my watch going, wow, this time is going slow. Um, I find myself like, holy crap, did I get that person? Did I get that person? Did I get that person? I don't think I got that person. Hold on. Did I get that person talking to that person? And so my head starts turning and then I'm looking up and I'm like, oh, it's time to go. Uh, love those events. Um, so hope you guys are having a great afternoon, evening, morning, day. Whenever you're watching this, I hope it's inspired you or made you think a little bit differently or giving you some ideas of how you're going to, um, get in touch with your writing and get ready for preptober and nano if you're doing it and if you're not just how you write in general um you know because let's be honest we're writers we shouldn't just be writing in november um uh you know like november obviously is a great time and everybody enjoys national Novel writing month but you know there's 11 other months so let's maybe or how it is cute too uh let's maybe <laughs> go ahead and do the dang thing and um you know get a lot of writing it throughout the year let's have some fun all right i might go inside because i'm starting to think i may have underdressed um <laughs> i don't think i did but uh these folks is stepping. I thought this was just like casual after five, but they're looking like it's like after after five. 
So we'll see. All right. Uh, you guys have a great afternoon let or evening, morning, whenever you're watching this. And let me know what you think about the lunch sprints, uh, maybe during Nano. We'll see. And I will mask up and chat with you guys later.